Right, next job is to sort this out. Down here you've got a pipe and the pipe drains down and it goes over the back there to the other side of the gearbox. Now I've already moved this air filter pipe so that I can get at it and I've removed it. And this is it here and I've cleaned it up with a wire brush but the trouble is is that this is all loose. It's supposed to have a groove there and it's supposed to be nice and tight but of course there's no seal there so what happens is, is that the water drips out and it lays see I'm opening a can down here it goes all over the gearbox which is bad news and I think you can actually get water ingress there so the idea is to clean it all up and sort it out now if you can see in there I'm opening a can I have already cleaned up the aperture where the inside of the flange goes and the next job is, is to get a good bit of sealant up there but the sealant that you use is not the usual type of stuff that goes off hard because obviously you want something that's going to seal but be able to move. So what I've done is I'm using this. There we go, roof and gutter sealant. It's unbelievable stuff. Doesn't go off, it stays soft so it'll allow the pipe to move and it forms a brilliant seal. So this should sort it but I warn you, um, wear gloves throwaway gloves because if you get it on your hands you will not get it off so anyway let's sort this out why they've never put a proper drain hole on the other side of the I'll never know the method I'm going to use is to take off the nozzle and lay it onto the brush stick the brush from the, the drain pipe area up and then wipe it down on the inside to leave a good deposit so that when I put the um, pipe back in it should make a good seal but that's the method that I'm going to use. I've put a nice daub onto the end of the brush now I've got to get it up there because I'm not kidding you anything is touch touches it will stick to so fingers crossed. Two very messy pairs of gloves later I've managed to seal it and uh, I can't tell now until it, uh, till it rains but I think it's going to be okay but that will stop water from dripping down onto the gearbox now just to give you an idea anything you can do in that engine bay to stop water from getting down uh, onto the wings will save you a fortune I had to have a lot of welding done on this it's all been done, it cost me a lot of money and it really did but all for the sake of doing something like this where the water's dripping down from here, goes on to here and it comes down on the headlight and away. And the same for this one, I've got water that comes around here somewhere. I've tried to seal it and I just couldn't do it. Anyway, it just runs down there, same as this, it just runs down there. But it stops it from going in these areas here. These areas here, especially underneath the battery tray, that's a real dodgy one. And it just rots out and then before you know where you are, you've got a failed MOT and it is expensive, there's nothing you can do uh, with it at all but you can stop the water from laying in here that's where you've got to stop it from and it goes in and it just runs in and it just lays there and of course with, unfortunately with uh, motorhomes most of the time they're laid up so anything you can do to safeguard this and to stop the leaks will save you money and make your investment last